Hey, Hickok 45 here. I've been doing some scientific work, I have to confess. Uh, I've got my chronograph out, put a fresh battery in it, and did a little velocity uh, <laughs> comparison. Now, I mean, we were going to do it on the video uh, when I originally, we came up with uh, this, and uh, well, I don't know, I got to messing around with it, and uh, so that's not really necessary. If uh, you think I'm making it up, you know, you're going to think I make everything up, right? But I, I, I'll tell you how this started. What I'm doing is comparing uh, velocity with three different size Glocks, okay? And uh, the three of the most common. And uh, I read an article in one of the gun rags, it, it might have been 20 years ago, of uh, someone had done this, I remember, and they, they were publishing the results of it. Don't remember who it was, but uh, or what magazine, but the point of their article was that there's not much difference in the velocity between among the Glock barrels, partly or mainly, I don't know, because of the polygonal rifling. You get such a tight uh, fit on your bullet. You know, very little gas escapes with that type of rifling. I guess that's one of the reasons that Glock uses it and everything. And I don't remember what the numbers were at all, but I know they were. that was the point of the article. There, there just wasn't that much difference as a lot of people would think there would be, okay? I, it may have been a 40 or a 45, don't know what they were doing. Anyway. And that's always been in the back of my mind. I want to do that sometime. And uh, because from time to time, people will uh, criticize the baby Glocks for uh, having such a short barrel. I know when I was shooting this one in uh, this very gun in GSSF matches one time, I was shooting really well in a match, and, uh, and some uh, one of the range officers was having a conversation with me about how, wow, it's a really cool carry gun. You, know, you shoot that pretty well and everything, but you really got to carry the right ammo, you know, for a barrel that short and everything and all that. And yeah, yeah, I guess, you know, I agree with it. But, uh, but anyway, those kinds of things come up because you're shooting a short barrel pistol and you don't get quite the velocity, we all know that, that you get with a longer barrel. So, uh, I, I don't really have a dog in the fight. I don't put as much uh, faith or credence uh, value on 100 feet per second or 50 feet per second as some other people do. I might be wrong in that. Uh, you may. And so, you know, take the results or however you like. But let me show you what I did. I, these are just my own scribblings here. I just took a Winchester white box, a very common ammo that people have, and then also critical duty. I had some of that extra. And as a carry round, you know, and of course we could do a million different rounds. I'm not going to get into all that. But I did Winchester white box and I did critical duty. I shot three strings of five rounds with uh, each firearm. Okay, so I don't know how scientific that is. Scientific enough for me, put it that way. Take it for what it's worth. So that's 15 rounds, three times five. Is that right? Okay. And I averaged 10, 56 feet per second with a Winchester white box, as you can see there. Uh, you know, with the uh, the Glock 26. I forgot my pointer. Oh yeah, there's my pointer. So 1,056 feet per second was the average. Uh, with three strings of five from the Glock 26 using Winchester white box. With the critical, let's forget the critical duty. With the Glock 19, that same ammo, 1091. You got a plus 35 feet per second. Okay, make sure my math is right now. I, I couldn't get a hold of my math professor at Vanderbilt. Line was busy. And then with the Glock 17, it went up to 1137 average. You know, a plus 46 over over the Glock 19, and again, that's Winchester White Box 115 grain ammo, and these are just all stock barrels, three three different Glock models. And uh, I don't have a Glock 17, as you know. I appreciate uh, uh, ASP Academy of Self Defense and Jolton lending me this. I went down and uh, ripped off one of their Glock 17s. Uh, belongs to the owner down there, uh, manager, and so we appreciate that. So I was able to use all three barrel links, most common links. So that's the difference you get with the, uh, you know, those three different models. And the barrel links I put down here, I think that's right. I looked that up and you know, it's, it's very close. You're basically a three and a half inch barrel in the Glock 26, a four inch barrel in the 19 roughly, and then you know, four and a half in the 17. And then I did the critical duty because that's what people would be more likely to be carrying something like that. You might not like that round, but something like that. Uh, and I got an average, again, 15 rounds, 10.69. And uh, in the 26, and with the 19, 10.87. So I got 18 feet per second extra with the Glock 19. And then with the, you jump up to the 17, you got 10.98, you get another 11 feet per second, okay, out of that. 
You notice the differences were not as dramatic with the carry ammo for whatever reasons. And you can kind of make of that what you want to. Uh, for me, it more or less confirms that I'm fine carrying a Glock 27 or a Glock 26, you know, the shorter barrels. If, uh, if I am kilt, <laughs> for lack of shooting back, as say in the West, you know, if I'm kilt for uh, not having an extra 35 feet per second, you know, in my handgun, you know, Glock 26 versus uh, uh, Glock 19, actually with carry ammo, if I'm killed for not having another 18 feet per second with this ammo, and actually that's the ammo I've been carrying lately in my, when I carry a nine. So if those 18 feet per second get me killed, hey, so so be it. I'm, that's not my day, is it? That's my day to die. So, and then if I feel like I've got to carry this big Glock 17, which is a fine pistol, of course, to get that additional 11 feet per second, yeah, so be it. Now, uh, my my uh, summation of all this is it really doesn't matter that much. It makes a little difference, of course. Velocity sometimes with certain ammo uh, can make maybe more of a difference. Maybe some ammo really needs another 50 feet per second to perform optimally. I don't know. You know, when you get into rifles and you get into like a five-inch barrel compared with a 20-inch barrel or even a 15-inch, 16-inch barrel, then you're talking about some more uh, significant differences of course but whether you decide to carry a 26 19 or a 17 and of course extrapolate this at any type of firearm i'm not as familiar with all the models the h and k's we could have lined up the m and p's uh, the xdm's we could have all those lined up with all the different barrel lengths and you'd probably get similar results now i don't know with the uh, polygonal rifling it might be closer don't know but uh, it would be similar, I think. So for those of you who just absolutely won't carry a baby Glock because you want the added velocity, maybe you want to do some testing. Don't take my numbers uh, for, you know, for the gospel necessarily. Although I was very careful, I put a new battery in this old Chrono, and I made sure all the numbers were, uh, were looking right. You know, when you, you know how if you're doing chronographing, you get a, a one, one uh, shot is 1093, and one is 1072, one's 1098 and then one is 13-something. It's like something's not right. You know? The ammo is not going to vary that much. You know? so, so all the numbers look right, and, uh, and I did shoot you know, all the shots I say. I've got them scribbled in here. But I just wanted to share that with you and uh, you know, for what it's worth. Uh, it's kind of a basics video in a way, uh, just a little bit of information that I find useful. Uh, for me, it confirms uh, what I've thought all along. But again, I'm not as I'm not a velocity geek as much, you know. Uh, I think you know having the firearm, being able to shoot it, and put a bullet where you need to put it is way more important than 18 feet per second, you know, or another 10 grains on the bullet, or you know all those sorts of things. So get some training and just know what you're doing. Way more important than all of this, okay? But thought you might find it somewhat interesting. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure what else to. Uh, gather from it other than it uh, there is a difference uh, a consistent difference you're going to get a little more velocity with a longer barrel uh, but again it's just not that much okay and you know it's awfully hard to be out here with all these pretty guns and not shoot them and I don't have a lot of time so I might just shoot the uh, the one from ASP because I think the velocities were faster and I don't have much time. So let's do that. <laughs> uh, life is good.